Configure basic router settings. This topology. I will use a uh, router 2321 R1. Two PCs. PCA. PCB. And switch S1. 2960 switch for S1. And now use the connections to use the copper straight through cable from gigabit 00, 00 to PCB and from gigabit 00 001, facet Ethernet 5, and from facet Ethernet 6, PCA. Okay. Uh, Ready. The resin table R1 two gigabit interfaces with IPv4 and IPv6 configurations, a loopback interface on R1 with IPv4 and IPv6 configurations, PCA and PCB using IPv4 and IPv6. Required resources on Real Lab 1 router 4221, 1 switch 2960, 2 PCs, console cables, Ethernet cables. Set up the topology ready, cable the network ready. Okay, on Real Lab, initialize and relock the router and switch. Okay, on Real Lab, you need to erase the contents of uh, S1 and R1. Okay, use the procedure uh, to raise the VLAN, VLAN database on S1, also erase the MVRAM using uh, erase startup config command, and on R1, erase startup config. Configure devices and verify connectivity. Configure PCs, IP, subnet mask, default gateway, and PCA and PCB. So on PCA, use this. Click here, desktop configuration, IP address 192.168.110. Okay, sorry, 192.168.110. Subnet mask 24. Default gateway 192.168.11. And IPv6, use this. Okay, 2001. DBA, ACAD, one column, column 10, prefix 64, uh, gateway, FE80, column, column 1. Now, configure PC, PCB, desktop by P configuration, use this, 192.168.0.10.24, zero, 192.168.0.1. Uh, IP address 2001 db8 ACAD column column 10 okay prefix 64 default gateway FEA0 column column 1 configure the router console into the router and enable privilege exec mode for example from PCB from RS232 uh, port on PCB, connect the console, console port on the router. So on PCB, use the emulation, the emulation program using terminal, okay? Would you like to enter initial configuration? No, enter, enter, okay. Enable privilege exec mode. Enable. Now you are on privilege exec mode. Enable. Enter configuration mode. Okay. Configure terminal. Enter. Assign a device name. Okay. Host name. R1. Okay. This is the the name R1. Set the router's domain name uh, ccna-lab.com. Okay. 
IP domain name ccna dash lab.com. Okay. Um, disable DNS lookup to prevent the router from attempting to translate incorrectly entered command as who they were host names. No IP domain lookup. Encrypt plain text passwords. Service password dash encryption. Enter. Configure the system to require a minimum of 12 character password. Okay. Security passwords mean length 12. Configure username SSH admin case sensitive with an encrypted password five five H A D M character and twenty twenty. Okay, case sensitive username SSH admin case sensitive uh, encrypted password use secret keyword and the password five five H A D M character and twenty twenty. Very good. And generate a set of crypto keys with a 1024-bit modulus. Crypto key generate. I would say general keys modulus 1024. Enter. Very good. Assign the privilege exit password. Enable secret character Cisco character P R I B and character. Very good. Assign this password as the console password. Okay. Line console zero password use uh, character Cisco character character C O N and this character. Okay. But don't forget to enable with login command. Configure sessions to disconnect after four minutes of inactivity. So use exec timeout command. Exec dash timeout four minutes zero seconds. Enter. Assign this password as the BTY password. Okay. 9 BTY online 0 to 15. Enter and set this password. Okay, uh, character Cisco, character character BTY, and character. Enter. Don't forget login command. Configure BTY lines to accept SSH connections only. Transport the input SSH. Okay. Configure sessions to disconnect after four minutes of inactivity. Exit timeout four minutes zero seconds. And enable login using the local database. Logging local. Okay. Okay, with login local, you will use the local database. You will use this username and password for SSH connections. Create banner that warns anyone accessing the device that unauthorized access is prohibited. Okay, exit from line configuration mode. And you are on global configuration mode. Use banner message of the day. On Authorized access is prohibited. Enter. Enable IPv6 routing. IPv6 unicast dash routing. Configure all three interfaces on the router with IPv4 and IPv6 addressing. 
configure all three interfaces with descriptions, activate all three interfaces. So go to addressing table and start configuring gigabit 000 and use all these configurations. Interface gigabit 000. Now you are on interface configuration mode. IP address space when a Prefix 24, 255, 255, 255, 0. Okay, IPv6 address, 2001, DB8, ACAD, column, column, 1, prefix 64. Okay, enter. IPv6 address, FE80, column, column, 1, link, local okay this is the link local address don't forget the description okay is the you can uh, gigabit uh, zero zero is placed on gigabit zero zero is gigabit zero zero is placed on pc on pcb side Okay, so you can, so you can uh, description and lambi. Okay, uh, and don't forget to enable this interface with no shutdown command. Okay, now configure gigabit 001. Gigabit 001, IP address. 192, 168, 11, 24, IPv6 address, 2001, DB8, ACAD, column 1, column, column 1, prefix 64, enter. Okay, this is IPv6. And now the link local, the same link local, FE80, column, column 1, link local. Okay, so the description is the another size, so will be LAN A, and no shutdown to enable the interface. Okay, and now configure the loopback interface, loopback zero, interface, loopback zero, enter, enter. Set the IP address, 10, 0, 0, 1, Okay, uh, sublet mask 24, IPv6 address, 2001, DB8, ACAD, 2, column, column 1, prefix 64, enter, okay, this, okay, the link local address is the same, FE80, column, column 1, link local, set the description, Look back. Uh, don't forget to enable the interface. No shutdown. Okay, and now the router should now allow BTY logins for two minutes if three failed. Logging attempts occur within 60 seconds. Okay, you are in, in, on interface configuration mode, exit to go global configuration mode. Okay, uh, use logging block dash four. L logging block dash four. Two minutes, okay, is space one. 120 seconds. If uh, three failed logging attempts, okay, attempt three, okay, within 60 seconds, within 60 seconds, and the, set the clock. Okay, set the clock, you need to go privilege exit mode, so use exit, exit. You are on privilege exit mode and 
use a clock set the time uh, 20 36 zero, zero hour and 15 july 2020 and save the running configuration to a startup configuration okay also on privilege exit mode copy running dash config space and start up dash config okay enter enter what would be the result of reloading the router prior to completing the copy running config to start up config command the contents of the running configuration in ram would be erased during reload as a result, the router would boot up with a startup configuration and the user would be asked if they would like to enter initial configuration dialog. Verify network connectivity. Using command line at PCA, ping IPv4 and IPv6 addresses of PCB. Okay, access PCA, desktop command prompt, and ping PCB. Ping PCB. What is the IP address of PCB? Go to addressing table. 192.168.0.10. Success. IPv6 2001 DBA ACAD column column 10. Ping 2001 DBA ACAD column column 10 and success. Were the pings successful? Answer is yes. Remotely access R1 from PCA using TerraTerm SSH client. Using TerraTerm on PCA open an SSH session to the R1 loopback interface IPv4 address. Ensure that the SSH ready button is selected. Okay, from PCA, okay, use, uh, you can do it on common prompt. Okay, for example, uh, this uh, telnet ssh client and use uh, ssh host name or ip address the loopback okay the loopback on the router is uh, 10 001 okay the loopback on ip before okay loopback on ip before 10001 and the username the username is this ssh admin case sensitive ssh admin okay and connect okay and use this password 55 h a d m character n 2020 enter okay again 55 h a d m character and 2020 enter very good the banner and user exit mode was remote access successful yes absolutely using the term on pca open an ssh session to r1 loopback interface ipv6 others okay the same procedure use exit command okay now and use uh, SSH IPv6 or loop back two zero zero one DBA ACAD two column column one. Two zero zero one DBA ACAD column two column column one. Okay. Okay, username, remember this username, 
this uh, SSH admin case sensitive. SSH admin. Okay, connect and use the this password. Okay, five five H A D M character M twenty twenty. Enter. Very good. And banner user action mode. Was remote access successful? Yes. Why is the net protocol considered to be a security risk? A .NET session can be seen in plain text. It is not encrypted. Passwords can easily be seen using a packet sniffer. Display router information. Display router display router information. Okay, use show commands. Establish establish an SSH session to R1. Okay. Uh, use InteraTerm on PCB, open an SSH session to R1 loopback interface IPv6 address and login as SSH admin. Okay. Uh, I'm on PCA. Okay. Exit. And now, okay, close this. Uh, PCA, PCB, close the. This is the terminal to configure the console connection on R1. But uh, use uh, command prompt or use uh, telnet SSH client. I will use command prompt to use another method uh, and SSH space option L and the username SSH admin case sensitive and the IP address, IPv6 address, uh, look back on R1. As 2001 DBA ACAD column 2 column column 1. Okay, enter and use the password 55HAM. Okay, again 55HADM character M 2020. Enter. Okay, again 55HADM character M 2020. Enter. Okay, the banner and user exit mode retrieve important hardware and software information show version okay but it's better to do it on privilege exit mode so access privilege exit mode enable enter password what is the enable password enable secret password and what's this okay character Cisco character P R I V and character enter. You are on privilege exact mode and now apply show version. Show version. What is the name of the iOS image that the router is running? Okay. Uh, Show version, this is the output, space, space, space. Okay, expand this to, okay, look at this. Uh, ISR 4300, universal K9. Uh, ISR 4300, universal K9, 0316, uh, 05S. Version 15.5 and 3x and SPA.bin. This is the image, all this. This is the name of the iOS image. Okay. What is the name of the iOS image? Is this? This. Okay, this. How much non volatile random access memory MVRAM does the router have? Okay, non volatile configuration memory 32,000, about 32,000 kilobytes. Okay, about 32 megabytes in this case.
how much flash memory okay flash memory okay about uh, 322 megabytes but on real app you will have about six gigabytes okay six gigabytes on real app and The show commands often provide multiple screens of outputs. Filtering the output allows a user to display certain sections of the output. To enable filtering command, enter a pipe character after a show command, followed by a filtering parameter and a filtering expression. You can match the output to the filtering statement by using the include keyword to display all lines from the output that contain the filtering expression. Filter the show version command using show version pipe include register to answer the following question. Okay, what is the boot process for the router on the next reload? Okay, and use. Uh, okay, um, connection close. Okay, and then for the exact timeout configuration. Four minutes, zero seconds. Okay, and enter again. Uh, Logging again. SSH option L is not one. Is L SSH admin and IPv6 address of Lubac interface on R1. Enter. Use the password and this strong password. Five five H A D M character M twenty twenty. Enter. Very good. And authorize it is prohibited and the enable password is this enable enter password is character cisco character p r i b and character enter very good you are on privilege x amount and Okay, what is the boot process for the router on the next reload? Okay, show version pipe. Okay, include the keyword register. And now you can see the register here. Okay, uh, 2102. Okay, and is this part the the last part of the show version output the last part okay and you are the line that includes the register and the keyword okay very good only you will see one line and uh, in most cases hexadecimal 2102 the router will undergo a normal boot load the iOS from the flash memory and load the startup configuration from the MVRAM if present. If the config register is hexadecimal number 2142, the router will bypass the startup config and begin at the user mode command prompt. If the initial boot fails, the router goes into wrong mode mode and what is wrong mode wrong monitor read only memory monitor wrong mode okay display the startup configuration show startup config show startup dash config enter okay very good how are passwords presented in the output? Okay, enable secret, uh, encrypted. Mm. Line passwords encrypted. So the answer is uh, passwords are encrypted due to the service password encryption command. Show startup config and pipe and show the section BTY. Okay. Show startup config pipe 
section, the BTY, the BTY line section. Okay, um, Pocket Racer does not support uh, the section, uh, the section keyword, the section command. But on Real Lab, you will see the BTY line section, all this section. What is the result of you seeing this command? This is the, this will be the result on Real Lab. Show the BTY line section. Display the routing table on the router. Show IP root. Show IP root. What code is used in the routing table to indicate a directly connected network? Okay. One directly connected network, two directly, one, two, three directly connected networks. The loopback that is a virtual network and two directly connected networks, one and two. And it's letter C, C for connected. Okay, L indicates the local local interface. How many root entries are coded with a C code? One, two, and three. Show IP interface brief. Show IP interface brief. What command changed the status of the gigabit Ethernet ports from administratively down to up? Okay, up, up, up. Okay, the no shutdown command enabled the interface and now is up. Before the no shutdown command was administratively down. Show IPv6 interface brief. Show IPv6 interface brief. What is the meaning of the up up part of the output? Okay, up up, up up. The up up status reflects the layer one and layer two status of the interface and does not rely on layer three for a status. Okay, this is up. On layer one up on layer two. PCB change its configuration so that it no longer has a static IPv6 address. Okay. This is PCB. Close the command prompt. IP configuration. Okay. Um, on real app, you may have to reboot the machine. Then issue the ipconfig command on PCB to examine the IPv6 configuration. But on Packet Racer, you can do autoconfig. Select autoconfig. What is the IPv6 address assigned to PCB? This 2001db8acad02d05affefecb e649 and may vary. Prefix 64. What is the default gateway? The link local address on the router. The link local address on the okay, the link local address of gigabit 000 on R1. Issue a ping from PCB to R1 default gateway, link local address. Okay, go to command prompt. Okay, exit from R1, exit, exit, enter. Okay, connection timeout, very good. And Pink link local address. 
fe 80 column column one pink link local address um, interface gigabit interface on r1 success was it successful yes issue a ping from pcb to r1 ipv6 unicast address 2001 db8 acad1 okay the IPv6 global unicast IPv6 address on gigabit interface on R1. Ping 2001 DBA ACAD column column one. Success. Was it successful? Yes. In researching a network connectivity issue, a technician suspects that an interface was not enabled. What show command could the technician use to troubleshoot this issue? Show IP interface brief, or show interfaces, or show staff config. In researching a network connectivity issue, a technician suspects that an interface was assigned an incorrect subnet mask. What show command could the technician use to troubleshoot this issue? Okay. Show startup config, show running config, show interfaces, show protocols. Thank you very much.